Good evening, everyone, and thanks for watching. I'm Mike Tank. Later this year, residents could get their say on a Vigo County casino. As we've reported, the Gaming Matters Bill, which passed the State House and was signed by the governor, allows a casino license to be moved from Gary to Vigo County. But first, it must get the approval of voters. The legislation calls for a referendum, one that local officials hope will take place in November. Today, the Vigo County Election Board met to certify the results of the municipal primary, but they also discussed the casino referendum. Vigo County Clerk Brad Newman says the hope is to get the casino question on the November ballot. First, they'll have to work through the logistics. The November election is a municipal election. That means city residents will be voting on city seats. But since the casino referendum will be a countywide issue, the Vigo County Clerk wants to make it easy for voters to vote. We have uh, started the process of talking with people and trying to get some locations on the outskirts so that the county residents don't all have to come in the city to vote. Um, we're going to have it set up to where the early day voting centers are open for 30 days like we did before and county residents can come there. The Vigo County Election Board will be having another meeting in the near future to work out more details. They hope to have a plan in place no later than the end of June. So what happens if a casino uh, passes a referendum? First, a request for a proposal will be sent out to casino operators to find out who might be interested in operating a casino and their plan. The Indiana Gaming Commission will then select an operator based on those proposals.